Hi everybody, it's Amber, and I just wanted to share a mini album that I made for my mom for Christmas. I asked her if I could borrow it so I could do the video. Um, I used the Graphic 45 Christmas Emporium paper, and for the covers and the binding and a little bit of the inside, I used Authentique paper, and I can't remember the name of it, but it was their Christmas vintage paper this year. A gorgeous paper, um, and the Christmas Emporium by Graphic 45 is also gorgeous. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go through it kind of quickly so I can try to keep this under nine minutes. Um, here's the binding, and I did this cute vintage authentique paper for that. And I added some charms. So, here's this charm. It's like a vintage image. Let me focus here. It's a vintage image that I got from Michaels, and then a mom charm. And I used this gorgeous um, deep red seam binding from Bridget. Thank you, Bridget. She's Fat Fanny 618 on YouTube, and she sent me a bunch of it in Happy Mail one day. Oh my gosh, it was. It's I used a lot of it this Christmas for projects and stuff. And then the back is that old vintage authentic paper as well. So it's a paper bag mini album and. I, use, I got the tutorial from my sister Scrapper. She's Ginger, and she's my sister Scrapper here on YouTube. This beautiful tree um, kind of chipboard sticker piece I got from Cam, the Can Company pack, along with this Merry Christmas. And then I just glued down some flowers and bling that I got from Michaels, and I lined it with bling. So like I said, it's a paper bag, vertical paper bag mini album, and um, you can get the tutorial from Ginger, my sister Scrapper. She's amazing. So, okay, um, first of all, I used the Graphic 45 paper, like I said, and this was like the cute postcard page that they had, or tag page, and I just made a little booklet for my mom out of all the scraps from that page. So, I just did that, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I bound it with some twine, and I put another little cute charm on it. And I created a pocket on the inside cover right there, and I put this big snowflake bling. So here's the first page. It's six pages. And I created a pocket out of this bingo card that I had in my stash. And I put some twine and ribbon on this little tag from the line. And then every page flaps over like this. Sorry, I can't really zoom out. Um, and this is with cardstock, and I just covered it with the design paper. I made a tag that's attached with this little clothespin. And there's the back. It's just with the wreath paper with a little tag. And then I did a photo mat here, and I created this little fold-out with one of the vintage stamps. And I backed it on some chipboards, so that way it was hard. And I just created some journaling lines for my mom. And every page has a photo mat inside the pocket, because this is the paper bag itself. So here's the photo mat for this one. It's long, so she can fit two nice size wallet pictures on there, or journal, or whatever. Um, so there's this page, and then the back of this page. The back of every page is the same, and so is the front. Um, this is the back of the paper bag where I created a pocket and covered it with the cute paper. This is that authentic paper again, and I created two little um, photo mat things with little pockets on both sides, and they just go right back into there. And then the next page I created, um, let me see if I can zoom out just a little, sorry, I'm trying to figure this out so you can get the whole book here in the picture. Um, I created this out of one of the pieces um, of the, one of the postcards from the Graphic 45 paper and I put it on some chipboard and um, added an eyelet with my crop -a dial and you can use it as an ornament or a little tag for a gift and I created a pocket here then you open that up and I just did a distressed photo mat here excuse me sorry I'm going fast I just want to try and get this under nine minutes if possible and I distressed all my edges with a vintage photo and I also used walnut stain so there's a little journaling spot another photo mat and then I created this little fold out it's kind of interactive here. It's got Velcro and it just stands out like that and it goes behind this belly band and there's room for pictures on all those pages. So then you, oh, here's the photo mat for this. And for each photo mat, I put some vintage red lace and gingham ribbon. So there's the photo mat for that one. So go to the back of this and here's the back page. 
with a little pocket and a little cute little vintage tag I stuck there. And then I made um, a nice long photo mat with a Stampin' Up! tab punch. So here's the next page. <clears throat> um, so I just left this simple. I left this open, this little Noel thing, so I could stick a photo behind it. Or my mom can. And a Poxy 25 sticker. And then over here I created a pocket with the cute paper and one of these really big beautiful tags. And this whole line is so vintage, it's so pretty. I used almost the I used almost the entire 8x8 pad and a bunch of the 12x12 sheets. And then I just did some tags with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to attach the ribbon. Those go right back into there and I created kind of a library pocket here. And then this is a magnet closure that I did. I did another one of those images with an epoxy sticker here and I backed it on chipboard and it's a magnet. So you just do that and it flips down for all those, for all, um, a bunch of photos. So you can do it on all those little spots and then it magnetizes back down and then holy night. So here's the photo mat for that one and they all are set with eyelets. Okay, so here's the back of that page. I did like this cute paper from the line, and then I had this little library pocket tag from Kay and Company. Stuck that in there. So there's that. Then this page I did the cascading waterfall um, flippy thing with all the miniature 8x8 on the 8x8 sheet. I did all the postcards or the little um, tags or whatever they are. So here's this for lots of photos and journaling. And then it goes over. And here's some more seam binding from Bridget. I love it, Bridget. Thank you so much. I created a little gatefold thing. And you just pull it out. And it's lots of room for pictures and journaling. And a big spot here for a picture. I just stuck some cute stickers there. And I left this blank for a big picture. And then I just stuck this Dimensional Joy sticker down here. And then here's the photo mat for that one. So let's go to the next page. Like I said, it's six pages long. So there's, oops, knocking stuff out. Okay, there's the back page of that one and I just put this on a cute bling brad with some vintage lace and I put two tags on there and that happy greetings um, covers the pocket there. Then over here I did a diagonal pocket with that authentic paper and this is also authentic so pretty and I did two tags my mom loves these tags she used them on gifts this year I made her a bunch of them so and so there's those this comes open and I left this pretty plain because the paper is so gorgeous this is authentic paper again so here's this pretty dimensional sticker I left it blank for a big picture and I left this completely blank because it's my favorite so pretty and then here's the photo mat for this one okay we're getting there Here's the back, and I created this pocket with some cute border punch um, pieces here, and I created a double pocket, one here and one here, and I just stuck some cute tags in there, and a library pocket tag here, and I put this vintage image, it's my favorite, I love it, let me focus, so cute. So I stuck it there on the pocket. Then over here I left this, I put this back, this tag on chipboard and I left it open and I put like a tag in here that I created and I put bling up there so you could slip a photo or put a photo on the tag and slip it back there. Then here I just put a craft envelope on this gorgeous paper and I just covered it with the design paper and I put a little tag in there and I put another one of those vintage stamps. Here's a big distress photo mat for like maybe a picture of my nephew. And then here is the photo mat for this one. Okay, so then here's the last back page. Um, I just put a bunch of these cute, on a swirly paper clip, these cute uh, vintage stamps. Look at all of them. So if she wants to cut them out and use them for other projects or just you know, admire them because they're so adorable. I put them under there and then I just gave her some more here and I cut this cute tag out and backed it on some cardstock. And then I put another one of those cute vintage stamps up there. And then over here I just put tons of these postcard cutouts. They're so cute. She can use them as cards or postcards or whatever. 
Um, so I just put them in there with another library pocket tag here. The little tag inside for journaling. And then I gave her three more tags there. And then here's where I created on this little hanger clip from Tim Holtz. I created the little thing I signed and dated. And then on the pocket, I just put family with some bling around it. So that's my mini album that I made for my mom for Christmas. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And um, my mom really loved it. So And I enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.